Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how we typically move a multicam CNC router. With this machine, we usually put a forklift in the front and then a standard pallet jack in the rear. This is a 5,000 pound pallet jack you typically find at your local hardware store. One thing to note is before we started moving, we did tie down the electrical cabinet with a strap. We also tied the gantry back in both directions. Come on in. Once outside, you can position your forklift to pick up the machine from the side using these very useful forklift slots. Ideally, you'll want forks that are at least six feet long to reach across the length of the machine. Notice how we're gonna get as close as we can without touching the machine. Then it's just a matter of lifting the machine and driving it into position. Okay, come on in. Get just high enough to clear the truck and then you can move into position. Once you're on the truck bed, the driver will likely ask you to position it in the middle of the bed. And that's where your longer forks will come in handy. Here's a quick look under the machine. The last thing we'll talk about is the type of truck that we scheduled. This is a Conestoga truck, which means it's got a sliding curtain that covers and protects the machine from wind, rain, or moisture. Now this is ideal because you don't have to worry about covering the machine with heavy tarps, which can sometimes cause damage. And the best part, there usually isn't a huge price difference between a standard truck and a Conestoga, and it can sure save you a lot of headache and prevent any of those critical components from being damaged. Thanks for watching our quick video on moving and loading a multi-cam CNC router. Now we have room for our next machine. Thanks for watching.